What's up, Capoeira Nation? Welcome back to the Capoeira Experience Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in and supporting the podcast. Uh, very, very happy for the Capoeira community, the, the support of the Capoeira community. And just before I get started, let me, let me announce this. Very soon, very, very soon, I'm going to be scheduling an interview Should I tell you? Should I not tell you? You know, I'm going to tell you at the very end. But right now, I'm going to, I'm in the process of uh, scheduling an interview with a really, really good master, uh, Capoeira Mestri. He has a lot of knowledge on history, a lot of knowledge on music. Uh, He's, I believe he's in Brazil right now. uh, And... He speaks English really well. So he will be able to translate and to not only the English, to English version, but also to translate some small questions that have, how, how can I explain this? So once If, if you have tried to explain capoeira to somebody that they don't know anything about capoeira, how would you explain it, right? So it's, it's, a, it's a martial art, it's a cultural, it's a, it's a, because at the beginning when, like for example, here in Indiana, when you show to somebody what capoeira is, oh, that looks pretty cool. What is it? It's a martial art. Oh, well, you do martial arts and you start kicking around or, or just like doing backflips and music. Uh, yes, but and then, but this is not just because, right? So, on the eye of somebody that they don't know, you have to you have to put on the right way or translate it for them to understand on the first impression, right? So, is how can you explain a capoeira philosophy or a capoeira? ritual to somebody that have no idea what capoeira is first time that i've seen capoeira what it is what is this so is is it's a challenge it's a challenge it's a really cool challenge because it helps us to understand what we do so we can explain it to somebody that they don't know what we do so it's is really cool to find that that translation so i want to bring him on because he has a lot of information, a lot of knowledge, and translating all these, these rituals so we can express this more. And that's also one of the reasons I started the podcast, because I want to see different perspectives, different experiences for people to see what, uh, how, so the way how you see Capoeira is going to be the completely different way of how you see capoeira and but at the same time is it is very very similar if that makes sense is everybody has a different perspective for everything right so is is that's the beautiful thing about capoeira and 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 the world right that everybody thinks different and that makes a beautiful place to be because it will be super boring if everybody thinks the same because We'll be have everybody the same idea. We'll have everybody. Do you imagine looking into a city where everybody look the same, dress the same, think the same, walk the same, drive the same? Boring. But you know, on on uh, in our community, it's really nice to see this. And of course, again, I'm gonna bring him. Uh, just be ready for this podcast. Is going to be. This podcast with him is probably going to be about an hour or I hope I can compress all my questions in an hour. I'm pretty sure you know that's hard to, to compress, but but just be ready to, to absorb all the knowledge from him. Okay. If you have a question, if you have a question that you would like to ask about history, about music, about rituals in the Hada please don't hesitate to send it to me so I can ask him 
again, I'm gonna tell you who he, who it is at the very end. So stay tuned, uh, listen till the end, so I can I can give you the information. And even though you know, even everybody, every everybody have knowledge in capoeira. Everybody. And when he, when they come to people that study very, very deep into details, like Mesa Francesina, when I brought her to, to the podcast, um, I want to see if I can bring her back because uh, her internet connection was a little, uh, uh, a little um, it, it was really weird connection and, and it was off and on and, and it was really hard for for me to catch her knowledge so i still caught it but if you have a clear 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 uh voice that will be even better for 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 us to understand what they what they talk about so so yes stay tuned because I'm going to tell you who, who he is and, and at the very end, I will, I will explain a little bit more about him. So the point today of the podcast is two things, two things, very short things, is uh, something that is very common in the Capoeira community and the positive way and the negative way. And something for the first point. The second point, is something that sometimes you get confused in the translation of this. So, for example, the first point, uh, since I started 2001 until today, I see many, many people and, and I see a lot of, um, I see a lot of transitions in between, in between groups, myself, including myself. For example, uh, and that breaks down to to, th to two things. Okay, let me talk first about the translate the the transitions in between groups. When I switch, I start in grupo uh, uh, grupo high school Brazil, and uh, back in Venezuela in 2008, uh, 2008, 2009, something like that. I don't remember. 2010, I don't remember. But I switch from high school to Brazil. Capoeira Brazil. And that transition right before I switch, I was uh oh actually actually let me let me take the back. Okay. Way way before that, high do Brazil and Venezuela is split up on two. One, we man, we were about I'm talking about probably like 300 people. And and one city, one city. I'm talking about we were a lot of people in one single city. Same group, same people, the same structure build it up from, from scratch. But one uh Capoeira master came to Venezuela and he wanted to flip the entire script that, that they were doing. And he messed up the entire system that they had. So the, the own structures at the time, they they decided to split up. They were like, you know, I'm not gonna be part of this anymore. We're gonna go on our own way. And they created, uh, let's say their own group, okay? Yes, they created their own group. Okay, so they created their own group, and but a completely different style. They start creating a uh, play a little more Angola, uh, following the path. So this mystery, he tried to keep what we were doing, but a lot of people disappear. I'm talking about from 300, we went to 150, and then from 150, we went to like 20 people. <laughs> so the, just imagine how how much wreck we got in that on that time. So and a lot of people left. A lot of people stopped doing capoeira. A lot of people, really great capoeiristas, man. Great, great, great capoeiristas that you can see today's day and you're like, man, why you stop doing capoeira? So when, when that happened, I was in the middle. I was, or should I go with these guys? Or should I go with this mystery? And I was in this question, what should I do, left or right? Okay, so if I go to, the, to practice Angola, it's not, it's not really my style, I like, I like speed. 
but I like this guy, but the the system of this guy is doing is 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 a little bit different of what I used to do or what, what I was used to. So I feel like this is a question that comes up very often in the Capora community when they are about to switch. And is if I switch, are my friends going to hate me because I switch? Very, very, very common. And every time I talk to somebody that wants to, to either get out of uh, supervision or either uh, switch groups or either stop doing capoeira, and the, the, one of the, the very common situations and, and, and questions that I see there is people saying, are my friends are going to hate me because I'm going to do, to make this decision. On that time, I came to the realization from that time until now, and I use that to this day. If you are my friend, if you are truly my friend, you are going to respect my decision and support my decision. So if either if I switch to Angola or I switch to to keep doing the transition I was I, I was doing that this other group didn't like. Man, you know, is is my decision. Why why are you gonna hate me? Why why you as my friend are going to push me down and push me away just because I make a decision that is for me? That is going to make me happy. So is when I was when I asked myself that questions and, and I was like, man, are these gonna hate me? Are, they, are these guys are gonna hate me? Are my friends gonna hate me? My buddies are gonna hate me, man. They're probably gonna hate me. They're not gonna like me anymore. They're probably gonna stop talking to me. And I was having this conversation. I stopped training for like for like a month, probably, because I was asking myself this question. And I was like, should I or should I not? And then I, you know, I was, I was like, ah, you know, whatever, man. I'm going to do it. If they don't like it, they're not my friends. And fortunately, like probably half of them, and we were like a group of 10 or, or yeah, like 10 or less, a little bit less. Half of them didn't like my decision. And yo, we just cut the the relationship because you know again it's a decision that i'm going to make for myself and it's a decision that is going to make me happy so and the other half they support me you know do whatever man is is for you you know it's, it's a decision for you and i was like these are my friends so so yeah man and and that's one of the questions that people do when they are going to switch so one thing here you know when you have friends inside your capoeira group, if if on both sides, if you are their friend and they and if my friend wants to switch groups, wants to switch supervision, I don't really care, man. Is you you do you, you know, and and if that's going to make you happy, go ahead and do it. I'm not gonna judge you. And now on the other side of the spectrum. If I'm going to switch supervision, so I'm going to switch groups. So what? You know what I mean? Is is my decision is going to make me happy? So that happens when when you you want to switch groups, and of course it comes with like adaptation. Like okay, now I gotta adapt to this new system. <clears throat> Sorry, I gotta adapt to this new system. And and switch what I need to switch for me to be part of this, right? It's like moving to a new country. You you move to a new country, you have to adapt. You have to adapt to the country. The country should adapt to you. That's why I speak English today, stay baby. And that help, helped me a lot. But that's another topic. So when uh when I switch to this guy, I have to adapt. To, to his way to teach, to his way to see stuff. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do capoeira. I'm going to train a lot. I, I just want to, I don't want to stop training. And man, I did capoeira every, but back then when I, when I switched uh, under him, every single day we did a bunch of presentations. 
uh, we were doing makulele, we were doing pushada, push, pushada de heji, we were doing, uh, of course, capoeira, we were doing something called coco, no, no coco, um, fojo, no, no, it's not fojo, I forgot the name, wow, that was a really long time ago, that was over 10 years ago, I don't remember, but um, I'm pretty sure it's going to come uh, at some point. So I, w I was doing a bunch of, of cultural stuff, Brazilian cultural stuff, and it was really cool because these demonstrations, they were like like 30 minutes. <clears throat> Sorry, I have some mantra. So it was really cool. It was really cool. I did a lot of capoeira. I was pretty much every single day. And and it was pretty cool. I travel. That was, that was the time when I went to um, to Brazil for a month for five weeks, five weeks. In those five weeks, I was training every single day. I was lifting. Uh, uh, <clears throat> oh my gosh. Um, I was lifting. I was going to a gym a lot. I was uh, training a lot of capoeira. And it was just like that. Wake up, eat breakfast, uh, going for a walk. It was super hot, super, super hot. And then do capoeira. Back to, back to the house, eat eat again, take a little nap, take a break, check my, my social media. But back then, I think it was just Facebook. And then at night, guess what? Back to training. So I was like training every day, sometimes twice per day, sometimes, sometimes one. We travel inside the state. But it was really fun. Back to the topic. Uh, it, it, it is very uh very a lot of questions right when you want to switch either group want to switch supervision or stop doing capoeira so we honestly and now from the instructor side or or i say instructor because i'm i'm not i don't have the rank but now on the teacher instructor side when if they leave we don't own students you know the day I start teaching, the day I started teaching, I I talk to myself, they probably are gonna be leaving me one day or they or they're gonna stop doing capoeira, which it happened. Uh, some of my kids stopped doing capoeira and and it was very sad to see them st stop doing capoeira for like a year before the pandemic and or they were off and on off and on off and on and then and i was like man i wish they can come more you know because i want to share capoeira with them but we don't own students we don't own students if you get mad because your students leave you you have to check your ego because and 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 let, let me tell you this in the, in the good way right as, a, as your friend if a student leave you is is for their own decision you know what i mean in, it comes back again to to the friend judgment like my friends shouldn't be mad if i make the decision if that's going to make me happy so uh if if we have students that are going to leave and we have students that switch supervision switch structure teachers or whatever they shouldn't be mad or we as instructor we should be mad because it's the exact same situation and and you know we don't own students and is is just part of the journey you find what is good for you and then you find what you like and uh same thing for example i a side uh um fun fact about me i don't know if should i say fun fact but a fact about me uh when i switched to capoeira brazil I was under my instructor back in Venezuela. Then when I switch, when I switch, when I moved to the US in 2013, well, I was about to be eight years that fast. In 2013, uh, and I'm, I'm having this conversation with you just uh, just to let you, you you getting more in, in, inside my life, okay? And because this, this stuff that I don't really talk to a lot of people, but this is why some stuff happens, right? So I switched supervision uh, when I moved to the US. It didn't work out. You know, it's, again, it's, it's, it wasn't what I was looking for. 
And then around 2015, I think it was 2015, 2016, something like that, I switched supervision again inside Capo Brazil. And again, it didn't work out. And then I finally switched supervision there under Mr. Mindinho. And now it feels a lot of value. You know, it's, you have to find what you what you're looking for. You and and if you know if you don't know what you look for, you don't know how to find it, right? So you gotta keep looking and ask yourself, okay, what what do I want? And where I want to get, where I want to go, and what I need to get for me to get where I want to go, if that makes sense. But once, uh, and I met Mr. Mindinho back in, in 2013, I believe so. 13 or 14, one of those two, two years. And we talk, we had little conversations, we became friends since, friends since there. And it was, it was a click. I was like, man, Mr. Mindinho, is, is, he has something. He has something that I, I like. And then with the years, I saw I saw his work, his work, his work, the way he's, he speaks about Capoeira and the way he 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 explains about Capoeira. And I was like, man, this, this, I think this is what I'm looking for. And then I finally made a decision to switch to Mesa Mindinho, uh, to his supervision and his guidance and his mentorship. And I'm honestly super, super happy. We talk all the time. And... We have a great relationship as a as a friends and also as a as a mestre uh, student and and I learn so much under his supervision that I have before and right now right now with my hand on my chest I can say with my hand on my heart I can say I have a mestre I have uh, somebody that's going to guide me and is going to to be there for me when I have questions. And it makes me super, super happy. It makes me very, very happy to, to have. Because, you know, again, it, 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 there's a lot of questions that you have when you're teaching. And there's a lot of, what do I do here? What uh, uh, questions? What do I do here? What do I need to do now? <laughs> what is the next step, man? Well, what do I do? So it's better and it's easier when you have a mentor because they tell you or... Mentor is a very common word right now, right? But when you have somebody guiding you and telling you, okay, you know, now you can do this. Uh, and, or B can be, ah, oh, man, you know, don't do that. Switch it from there to this. And when you see the results and be like, hey, mestre, that didn't work. Should I do it like this or should I do it like this? Oh, okay. And then, you know, they stop, start working from there. But it's awesome. I'm being, uh, I'm super happy. And, and, I think I really believe this is what I was looking for. So uh, I encourage you so to, to, you know, and once, once you, you find what you look for, that's going to make your relationship even stronger because uh, you, you have to identify who you, who you're, who you, the person is teaching you and you have to identify and feel comfortable and feel feel good with yourself and feel fine and feel feel good and um, all the ways all the all, all the ways all the ways that you're not going to be judged because you made a make a decision <clears throat> bad judgment or you're going to be uh you know is 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 great and and i encourage you to talk to your instructor to your current instructor and be like hey well, i feel about this man and Either if it's good or it's bad. Man, I really love your class. And tell your instructor, tell them how much you appreciate them because that's going to help them to feel better. And they are going to feel appreciated. If you talk to them and you tell them, you know, your instructor, tell your instructor, tell your, your teacher, your professor, whoever, your maestre, Mestre, I really appreciate what you do. I really appreciate all your sacrifices and I appreciate all the effort that you have behind the scenes because it takes a lot of work to organize classes. It takes a lot of work to build a student for ground zero and it takes 
a lot of patience and it takes a lot of energy too. And, and it's a lot of process behind that, you know, to build a single student, single student. Do you imagine 10, 20, 15, 15? I went to 20 to 15, 20, 30, 100, 200,000 people. So it's, it's, it takes a lot of energy, you know, and, and we have to, as a students, we have to learn how to appreciate their sacrifices and we have to learn how to, to appreciate their work too, you know, and because Capo is beautiful, man. Capo is a lot of stuff. And the last point, and that's, that's pretty much, you know, that's pretty much about, about, uh, we don't own any students. Now, uh, the second point I want to talk, uh, I want to, I want to talk about what the hell I want to talk about is the, the, and is, this is a very short point is spirituality in Capoeira. I was talking yesterday to uh, um, a guy where I'm teaching. If you've seen the vlogs, go check it out because uh, I actually, I, I talk a little bit about where I'm teaching in one of the dance studios. If you, if, and so if, if you see that, just make sure you subscribe. So I was talking to him about spirituality and, and capoeira is about spirituality because, and I was explaining to him, spirituality is not about, it's not about religion. It's not about, uh, it's not about uh, 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 worship a God or like bow to somebody or bow to a, to a God. Or it's, it's about like very internal, um, connection with your, with yourself with uh we are spiritual beings in this body we're borrowing this body for for a for a period of time some people short some people longer so and and our spirit is going to be connected with other spirits with your friends with your family with with uh, your partners and that connection is a spiritual connection once you are in the hada and if you are doing if you have done capoeira and and you'll be in a hada where you get goosebumps or i've been in hadas where i even want to cry because the connection is so deep and and the energy is so amazing man it's just amazing in that moment that you just let yourself loose and you just let let yourself float and just let yourself flow with that energy. And I get goosebumps right now, but it's, it's a really cool connection once you are there and everybody sings, is singing, synchronized, the instruments are in tone, everybody's clapping really nice and it's a connection a very very deep connection and it's a spiritual connection and again no it's about it's not about religion it's not about it's not about gods it's not about it's not it's not it's deeper man it's, it's a very deep connection and again uh, at the beginning of remember the topic I was talking about of explaining somebody to capoeira to to that they don't know about capoeira, how how can you explain that person that spirituality part? You know, is so you you is different ways, and we can talk about that in another time because this is a very extent uh, topic. But you know, we have to respect that, and we have to learn how to look for it because that's going to to connect us deeper, deeper to Capoeira. And we can do that through music. Music, the beating bow. And that's why, that's why I focus so much on and talking here. If you if you have listened to, to many of my episodes, I talk about instruments, especially the beating bow, playing the beating bow. Once you connect with a beating bow and you play and you just feel the tones and feel the music, 
trust me, it's a connection, beautiful, beautiful connection. That's why I'm encouraging everybody to learn beating bow. There's many people teaching beating bows to these days. The instructor can teach you beating bow. And it's awesome, man. It's awesome. So I encourage you to connect with Capoeira music on a very deeper level because that's going to help you to develop your connection with Capoeira once you 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 are a little bit in depth into Capoeira. So that that will be the point for for the spiritual part or spirituality in Capoeira. Now, like I promised before, like I promised at the beginning, this is uh, my next guest. Well, I'm, I'm not sure if you're going to be the next. It's probably not the next week, but the following week probably because uh, I'm still in the schedule time for him. He knows about, uh, about history. He knows about music. He knows about spirituality and capoeira. He knows how to teach kids. He had a course, online course, how to teach kids. It was a really, really cool information right there. So again, be ready to have this podcast with dun, 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 Mestre Fejadura. Mestre Fejadura has a really cool history to teach, really cool history of history. And he, he's been studying all this kind of stuff, how to teach kids, how uh, there's many, many cool stuff behind behind the scenes uh, that we'll, we'll talk uh, with him in the podcast. Again, if you made it this far and you have a question about history, if you have a questions about, um, about music, if you have a question about rituals, if you have a questions about anything in Capoeira, anything, 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 don't be afraid to reach out either Facebook, either uh, Instagram, either a comment on YouTube, either a comment on Instagram or my DM on Instagram. Um, podcast Capoeira, okay? Podcast Capoeira. Find me there or just look for me, the Capoeira Experience Podcast or my personal Instagram is uh, Harley, like the motorcycle, you know, without the E. So it's H A R L Y underscore M, M as a Mary, H-A-R-L-Y underscore M. So, and don't be afraid to reach out and, and be like, hey, you know, I heard your podcast about you're bringing on Mr. Fejadura, but you have to do it this week. So I can ask him and have the questions ready for him. And I can send it to him and he can, he can find the answers faster. Instead of that way, we don't we don't know like juggling in, in, during the podcast because it's going to be hopefully an hour. I don't think where he's going to be less. I know we're going to be talking a lot, and he's. I'm very very happy to bring him, in, and I've been looking forward to bring him. Shootouts to to instructor Sua. Next week, we're going to be having um, a workshop online workshops. With Instructor Sua, make sure you and call Gary, uh, Grupo uh, Ashe, make sure uh, you go there, find him, find find his Instagram, and and get some information from him so that way you can uh, assist to the workshop. So my workshop is going to be um, next Friday. Is going to be March 19th, next Friday, at uh, Indiana or Toronto time. It's going to be 8 p.m. And uh, it's going to be a Friday. Uh, go to, to register. Here's the information. To register, uh, go to, to capoeiraabc.com. Uh, slash forward, zoom, 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 okay? And you will have information there. You have uh, registration there. Uh, is, um, is going to be, let me see, here's, here's more information. Uh, uh, let me see. Oh, it's going to be $65 uh, 
or whatever whatever you can afford okay make sure you go there it's going to be fun man. it's going to be fun it's going to be fun let's go do it let's go be part of this let's go support the community that's how we grow and how, that's how we help each other and let's be part of these shootouts to uh instructor sua thank you so much for the invitation thank you so much for for bringing me on to to this this amazing opportunity and thank you so much for putting all this together and thank you so much also for putting me in contact with mr fejadura thanks to you i got in contact with mr fejadura so thank you so much let's talk and let's be in touch reach out so i can i can put the questions there for mr fejadura make sure you follow if you made it this far thank you so much for listening make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel Follow me on Instagram and stay tuned for more, especially Mr. Fejadura. I'm going to, I'm trying to bring more capoeiristas that I'm trying to get in touch with them. That is, they have really amazing works, really, really amazing work. And trust me, you're going to listen to to their information because it's, it's really cool learning from these guys. All right. Thank you so much. Subscribe. Make sure you're, you're subscribed to the podcast on iTunes, subscribe to the podcast on uh, Spotify. And now we are on Audible, the Audible app. Now you can go there. You can listen to my podcast there. Make sure you subscribe and comment. I know you like it. Peace. If you're listening to this and watching this video on YouTube, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I'm watching you. I'm watching. I see some a lot of views there. But there's not a lot of subscribers. You better subscribe. If you're watching the YouTube, okay? Thank you so much. Peace out, brothers and sisters. Peace. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for getting this far. Remember, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up on Facebook or YouTube. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. This is going to help us and help me to get bigger numbers and bigger subscribers so we can give more information okay please if you're listening i know you're listening i know you're watching please give me a subscribe give him a give, give me a like okay i know you're watching right here or listening all right have an amazing day thank you so much for tuning in and listening every single episode especially the episode we just did all right thank you so much peace